Uh, today, I am back at the Wisconsin Potato and Vegetable Storage Research Facility to process some uh, potato chips. Uh, the objective of those work is to evaluate the storage quality of uh, different varieties that have been stored for up to eight months. Um, I'm gonna walk you through this, uh, each step of the processing and uh, introduce you to how we do research with potato chips. Now, let's get inside of the, the processing lab. Okay, so I am in the processing lab right now. We can see that people are busy with their work. Um, in this part of the lab, we have uh, three positions. Um, each one represents a step of um, the processing of potato chips. So the first step um, is to take the tubers and put them in the peeler um, and uh, uh, so that we can remove the skin from the tuber surface. Um, this uh, specialized machine is designed to do the job. Um, we can see that the tubers are rotating in this uh, machine and after about a minute or so, uh, most of the skin on the tubers will be removed. They're just rubbed against the wall of the machine. Yep, it stopped um, and the peeling step has been finished. Um, Good one. Yeah, this one is really well uh, peeled. Um, almost all the skin uh, was removed. But on average, um, our target is about 90% of the surface is clean out of, uh, without any skin after this step. And now those tubers will go to the cutting board. After peeling, uh, the next step is to cut the tubers into halves. Um, one half will be uh, further cut into pieces for uh, sugar analysis. Sugar means uh, sucrose and glucose. And the other half, uh, we are slicing that for potato chips. This is a step of slicing the chips. We got three slices from each chip, uh, each tuber. Um, and after slicing, we put the pieces into uh, clean water. Um, the purpose of that is to remove the starch granules uh, on the surface of the slices that might affect the, the frying uh, step. And the next step is to dry out the slices, uh, take them out of those water and dry them uh, with, a, with a towel. Okay, so this is a specialized fryer. Uh, we put two potato chips, well, slices um, into each slot. Um, and then we put this uh, fryer into the oil for frying. So I can hear the, the beep. That's the, the timer. And uh, um, we are processing this for two minutes and 10 seconds. You can see the bubbling um, during the, the frying. Um, generally, when the bubbling stops, uh, that means the, the chips are ready. This is to show you um, how the chips look like after um, they're taken out of the fryer. Um, the, the, the frying time is 2 minutes and 10 seconds and the temperature is uh, 360 degrees Fahrenheit. These are the potato chips after frying or cooking. Um, what we are evaluating here 
is the the fry color of each chip. So during storage, uh, if the quality is maintained at a good level, we should have low sucrose content and low glucose content. Um, when we're frying them in oil, um, typically the glucose will react with amino acids in the tuber and the end products will be uh, some pigments. Uh, we, we, we don't want those pigments because that will make the chips uh, look not nice. So uh, the, the objective of storage is to maintain the, the, the glucose content as low as possible. So uh, just by looking at those chips, uh, this one, this, this sample, uh, the, the fry color looks nice, just like the chips we buy from the uh, grocery store. Comparatively, uh, look at this one. We got some very dark color uh, on some of the chips. So that means uh, there are some sugar, high sugar level problem um, in those tubers. So they will not be acceptable for uh, commercial, uh, commercial use. Over here, this one looks good. And uh, um, interestingly, this one shows some uh, dark spots um, on one end of the chip. Um, and this problem is called the stem and chip defect, usually associated with heat stress during the late, start, uh, late growing season. Um, so this is not a, a good sign for uh, you know, making good quality of chips. Um, and researchers are studying on how to avoid this problem. Um, so by looking at the different chip color, we should be able to associate this quality with different in-season um, treatment. And in this study, it's the irrigation. We got different levels of irrigation. Um, one is over irrigation um, and the other um, the others are um, deficit irrigation. So we are trying to evaluate what are the impacts of those irrigation treatments during the growing season on the post harvest storage quality. As I mentioned before, these tubers have been stored for uh, eight months. Um, so that's a long term storage season.